Hi everyone, Sunderland's making another video for you guys on YouTube to watch. Time is 15 minutes past midnight. That means 15 minutes past midnight a.m. in the morning. The date today is the 20th of July, the 7th month of the year, July 2018. One of my predictions might come through today. This is not related to the weather. This is Yellowstone Park Volcano going off. If it's on the news, the next six or eight hours time, I will be amazed. If it doesn't, another one didn't come to fruition. But most things I have forecast this year have all come to true fruition. Many tornadoes, West London, May. I even saw many tornado recently in Woking this week, a few days ago, on the 17th of July, just west of Woking. If you don't believe me, watch one of my videos on YouTube and you look at my video video account and you'll see what I mean about it. So there you go. Excuse me. <coughs> so I am very, you know, good at predicting the future and getting it right accurately with the weather as well as other things as, as well. So this is the weather at the moment currently. Uh, this is live video footage. It's going up. At least it's live now. <coughs> These are thunderstorms here. We can make them roll on. Show goes on. So these are thunderstorms coming up towards England in the south. It's a prone hold it's a as I say a prone hold attack from the northwest, a pin a, a pinter movie you could say, of those thunderstorms, and from the south east. At last it looks like the south the south is daring desperate for rains as much as the north is. It's gonna get some terrific thunderstorms in Kent, East Anglia might be wrong about this, but it looks like the net off is going to get caught up by like, like red hands, red hands, red hands caught, caught in the cookie jar. They did predict thunderstorms for today. I obviously they did. Not this early in the after, in the morning. Not this time of day. Not in Dover, Kent, or East Anglia, or Colchester area. Just to prove how stupid they are and they get it wrong half the time. And it's the rain. So I got this right here. But this one down here, I'm pretty sure they didn't see that one come in that early. So it's like this area down here, Cape Dover, Canterbury, East Angola, maybe the south coast is going to get quite a damp of rain in uh, the next three or four hours time, or two hours time, depending how you know it works out. And then if you go down to the south, it's the south of France, into the north of Spain, there's more nasty thunderstorms there perking up towards us. So there you go, that's what the weather's doing at the moment with rain rainfall. So there's rain not too far away. So we could get some rain tomorrow in England. And the southeast needs it badly. We actually are truly, and I, was, I bought this one right, and this is the apparition that I got right. Truly now officially in the 1976 summer drought. Maybe not as hot as 1976, but I think it's starting to get as hot as 1976. I mean, I have predicted at the end of this month a temperature of 40 Celsius. Now next week, the potential is mid to the high 30s maybe just in a minimum one to the chance just maybe 40 celsius next week if i get that right i'll be amazed so there you go we'll have to wait but it is my birthday next week wish me 31st 31 birthday it's a good week indeed excuse me <coughs> so let's have a look See what's going on the other way, the lightning potential. I'm surprised it was lightning on it. Oop, that one. <laughs> That's the United Kingdom, not lightning across England at the moment. Problem in Europe. There you go, from the storms there. So it's definitely from the storm system coming up from the south. That's one. And down there, this one in Spain, North Spain, the south of France. This one's the closest here. That one's going to hit us, I think. Southeastern parts, mainly, probably. No thunderstorms up here at all in northern Scotland. <coughs> so there you go. All right, let's look at the other potential. The, 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 the we're looking at the uh, monster day, and that will be the GEM model today. We're looking at the GEM model prediction. So look, right here we go. Oh boy. You're going to enjoy this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up.
Right. Let's have a look. It's the 19th of July. So that um today. Oh yeah, that was the 19th of July. That date now. 20th of July today. <laughs> There we go, there we are, 20th of July. Roll on film. Roll on summer, as they say. Here she comes. Another one high pressure. Look, shit. This is the one I was talking about. That is the one that is the menacing high pressure. If that gets over us next week, that is the 40 degrees I've been predicting for quite a while. That's the killer. That's the killer heat wave. It's coming our way next week. Potential danger. Another knee danger. Ooh, low pressure coming from down from the low pressure coming from the north, cooling down a bit, but the heat to the south is building. This is Monday, getting very hot in the southeast. Very hot. Very hot. 33 or 34. That's my birthday, Tuesday the 24th of July. Oh yeah. And that's the low pressure system coming in. Quite a nasty one by the looks of it, quite stormy. Scotland. Yep, it's coming. High pressure there to the left, the killer heat wave is about to strike England with deadly consequences. And I need deadly consequences. Low pressure system starting back again. Trying to hold it back. Oh, here she goes north again. Okay. Cooling down quite a lot by the 29th of July, but potentially that I moved to far east of England over the North Sea. This comes in deadly, I mean, deadly, deadly. That low pressure system could overtake it, but I don't think so. That's going to be really hot, deadly weather. It's sort of like August to me, not the end of July, maybe the first week of August. I am, um, you know, there's so many models here. There's the um, what do we call it, the um. J A A G the G M A and then there's the NASA model and there's the E C M W F model and there's the G F S. There's so many models here. They all predict. There's at least about let's work it out ten models here. So if they all agree, the same thing that's going to happen. If they split, it's a headache. If about a quarter or more, then it's going to happen. But they all got different ideas of what the world's going to do. So sometimes, as I say. Don't take it's literally what's going to happen, but this could be right, this could be wrong. But it's all we've got. Um, we use lots of models to predict things, but this is, you know, all I can say for now. Then let's look at the, um, oops. Sorry. This is the weather at the moment, currently of course, woke Ooh, here we me. Ooh. Sorry about that. <coughs> so there we go. Um... Quite muggy tonight, between 20, 20 Celsius at the moment. Look at the coolers would be 15 degrees tomorrow morning in Woking Town. That's the newest town to me. Um, oops, that's not that yet. Too fast, son. Sorry about that. <coughs> so, tomorrow's potential is there's a, there's a good chance of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon or in the evening tomorrow, 8, eight o'clock according to this. This will keep changing all day tomorrow and it would just will. They're hard to predict thunderstorms are. Oh, yeah, thunderstorms about a yellow warning for tomorrow. And that will have, um, you know, I don't put out a, a warning, a flash warning on mobile, my mobile phone to people if it's definitely going to happen. I don't, just, I don't just do it the day before. I do it, you know, as a flash warning. And they don't do it in the office. They just go for it and then they kill it. They're just very concerned about getting it wrong. So it's going to be a hot uh, weekend, 26 that day. Okay, it's, going to be, it's going to be a very happy day. You might get cloud amounts, more cloud, more sun. Well, Monday looks like a toasting day. A good day for a bike ride. I'm going for a bike ride that day up to Richmond. Oh, toasty hot. Ooh, better get up there early. <laughs> and the rest of the week, it just stays hot. There is no end. Oh, yeah, there's a shower on the 1st of August. So that's not a lot. That's nothing. There is no end to this heat weather, this hot weather. It's going to be a very good summer if you like hot weather, but if you don't like the hot weather and you can't sleep, I'm afraid to say this could last right into October and potentially, worst case scenario, November. 
but I don't know. That is the long range prediction for me. Just my gut feeling. Um, but you know, if that happens, it goes your um, winter. But it might not. It could easily drop away big time the temperature in November. Get very wet and cold, and it might snow. No, I'm not. Um, but the weather in England is very fine and pickled, and you can't always get it 100% accurate. But I always get it accurate. 85% right. Knit off is get it about 5 or 10. Maybe 8, 15, 25. Not 100% accurate. I always want to get it wrong. So my forecast are more accurate. I am one of the best weatherman on planet Earth's history ever known to, to live. And that was right about 1976, summer this year, happening in, in England for 2018. If you don't believe me, watch my video for a 1976 um, drought and you'll see what I mean. And the mid -torn and the mid tornado I saw in Woking too. So thanks for listening to me. Subscribe to my weather channel if you love it. Or you channel, YouTube channel. And um, as I say, give me a thumbs up for this video. In many of the few, many, the many um, people weigh out the needs of the few, and may the force always be with you. Thanks for listening to Sam Evans. And as I say, keep watching. Good night, everyone. See you. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. Goodbye.